Well, joining me now is John Atwood, who is the Vice President of Marketing and E-Commerce at Big Bus Tours. Hi, John. How are you? Good morning. You? Welcome aboard. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you so much. And actually, John has very kindly uh, lent us this wonderful bus today uh, for our travel day of action, uh, somewhere that we can interview lots of CEOs, lots of heads of associations, travel agents, cabin crew, etc. Uh, John, why was it so important for Big Bus Tours to support this day? Yeah, it's, it's really a massive day for the travel industry as a whole, um, away from Big Bus, you think of um, it's 12 months which has turned into a very long 18 months very very quickly um, and I think some of the important issues have kind of got lost in the, in the time that's passed so uh, certainly the things that we're lobbying for today uh, are very much trying to make sure that we can get the travel industry up on its feet as soon as possible um, we recognize that in our cities in the US and in Europe across our other 23 cities um, performance is improving because there's freedom of movement so some of the changes that hopefully come from the back of today will help us in the UK. Yeah well freedom of movement but not obviously from British people going out to those cities and I think it's worth saying people know Big Bus Tours as a London touring company but you said there are 23 other cities that you operate in so important for you to get uh, UK people back traveling again internationally. Absolutely yeah there's, there's clearly uh, an appetite for it I think we can see that from customers wanting to book places I think the lack of clarity is an issue um, I think if there was more control on the decisions and things not changing last minute customers would have the confidence to go and book um, at least some movement there would really help in terms of customer confidence to start booking again rather than waiting for something that's a bit more clear and to get that confidence back up. So you want, so one of your demands, I guess, would be then to get things moving again in line with the, what the government said they would do with the Global Travel Task Force, but also we're campaigning today for a support package uh, for the industry. Uh, you know, how badly has your business been affected and how desperate are, is the industry as a whole for that sort of financial sure. support? It's, I mean, it's been massive. Globally, we used to have a team of about 2,000 people and that's down to a fewer than 600 now. And uh, you know, aside from that, the budgets have had to change. We've really had to rescale the business to make sure that we still survive. Um, and we have, we've done that very well, but, um, you know, we need to start seeing things move again for us to really pick up where we left off. And also just uh, in all, this is an industry which thrives on the people that work in it. So, um, you know, there's a lot of passion in there and we, we, we've lost people in those roles. We can start hopefully rehiring people across yeah. the industry at the same time. So, yeah, I think it's huge for consumers, but also the guys that work in it as well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we're enjoying your product today, which is a fantastic product. And inbound tourism must be so important to you, which I guess is also a bit of a problem because you would normally have lots of foreign tourists traveling on your buses. So it's that's massive. also an issue for, for you specifically. Outside of the US, it's, it's very much international travel. So London alone, we're probably looking at 75% international travel when we're back to normal yeah. so, so that's huge for us it's it's uh, the market is much quieter in that sense obviously because people aren't getting into the country so yeah. yeah the sooner we can start seeing people back into the UK as well as going out would be great okay all right well we're so grateful uh, for your support today it's brilliant to be on the bus we're actually going to be moving the bus uh, a little bit later today we're going to be going round Parliament Square uh, and College Green to see where everyone is congregating uh, I think you guys will be with us still so we're very grateful uh, and we wish you all the best for your business in no the worries. future thank, thank you, you John cheers